In today's video, we're going to break down the differences between two incredible breeds, the Boxer and the Connie Corso. Welcome back to the Fenrir Boxer Show. If this is your first time here, my name is Joe and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirK9Leaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the boxer and then how to become high level canine leaders that you can raise your own boxer. So if you're a lifelong boxer lover, thinking about getting one yourself or have just started your own journey with your new boxer puppy, then this channel is perfect for you. So make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a future upload right here. And today we're going to take a look into what really separates the Boxer and the Connie Corso. In many ways, these are quite similar breeds. So I've broken down the differences and highlighted the major points. So let's get started with comparing the origins of these intriguing dog breeds. And we begin with the history of the Boxer. This popular breed was created in Germany of, in the late 19th century from the now extinct German Mastiff, also known as the Boar Hound. As the name suggests, its role was to hunt wild boar, as well as deer and even bear, in order to create an even better hunting partner for large game, early German breeders crossed the Boar Hound with the old English Bulldog. Over the years, the breed began to gain popularity outside of its original role. And today, the boxer enjoys the worldwide fame as a loyal guard and loving companion. Also originating from the ancient Greek Molossus Mastiffs, the Connie Corso is a distant cousin of the boxer. After the fall of the Roman Empire, this Italian Mastiff very successfully adapted to civilian life. Today, the Connie Corso has gained worldwide recognition and fame as a service therapy and guard dog, as well as a family companion. Even though both breeds are majestic dogs, well-muscled, strong, and yet athletic, and they share the same ancestors as the ancient Molossus Hound, today's Boxer and Connie Corso each have very distinct features that set them apart. For example, the head. Whilst the Connie Corso has a massive blocky head and a rather long muzzle for a Mastiff, the Boxer's head is nearly round in shape with a com comparatively flat face and short muzzle. But the easiest way to tell these breeds apart is their difference in size. Boxers are classed as a medium to large dog breed, whereas a Connie Corso are a giant breed with adult males standing up to an impressive 70 centimetres. The Corso can weigh to a stunning 68 kg. That's 150 pounds. As with any breeds, the females are slightly smaller and lighter. Boxers only reach a height of 63 centimetres or 25 inches for adult males with a weight of 29 kg, again with the females being slightly smaller. Both the Boxer and the Connie Corso have short, tight-fitting and naturally shiny coats that can come in a variety of colour. For the Boxer, breed standards allow brindle, fawn, with or without white markings. The Connie Corso can come in black, fawn, red, grey or brindle, again, with or without white markings. We can safely say that both are equipped with a high level of intelligence. However, in the case of the Connie Corso, this intelligence is coupled with a strong tendency to think and act independently. When given the opportunity, this strong-willed dog is going to make its own decisions which is not desirable simply because such a such decision can include digging up your garden, getting into the trash or bin, or chewing up your own shoes. Therefore, the Connie Corso absolutely needs strong leadership by an experienced, firm, and yet fair owner. 
No less intelligent, but far more trainable, the boxer has been successfully employed by military and police forces all over the world for nearly a century. In its native Germany, the boxer was among the first breeds to be formally accepted for police work. And this brings us to the temperaments of these strong and smart working breeds. Due to their history as bullfighters, boar hunters, and war dogs, both the boxer and the Connie Corso make excellent guard and personal protection dogs who do not require any training to defend their owners and homes. That said, the boxer can be slightly hesitant when it comes to actively attacking an intruder on their property. Therefore, if you want your boxer to be a reliable protector who will not hesitate in a moment of danger, you will need to enlist the assistance of a professional dog trainer. Perhaps due to its long history as a battle companion for ancient Roman soldiers, the Connie Corso is better suited as a natural protection and guard dog. Another reason for this predisposition to defend is the Corso's pronounced wariness of strangers. This feature seems to emerge in the breed usually after one year of age. When it comes to both breeds level of devotion and affection for their owners, they are almost equally loving and devoted. With the Connie Corso forming especially strong emotional bonds with their loved ones. Both breeds love children and are excellent house dogs and family companions. However, neither of them is the perfect fit for families with very young children. Boxers are very keen working dogs, intense, alert, and highly energetic. As such, they tend to be quick in their movements and boisterous in their play and their display of affection, which can quite easily cause them to involuntarily injure a small child. Connie Corsos, on the other hand, are very calm, quiet, laid back, and gentle in the house. The danger with them lies more in their enormous size and bulk, which can cause them to knock over small humans without intending to. Due to their nature as hunting dogs, bred to untiringly track game, both breeds have a strong prey drive, which makes them prone to chasing cats, rabbits, or even deer. Of course, you want to counteract this tendency by not letting them off leash outside of a secured area until they have mastered perfect recall. Normal walks will not satisfy either one of these athletic breeds. However, as they both are very intelligent and adaptable, you can teach them to run next to you when you're cycling. Now, let's talk about their grooming. And the good news is that Outside of shedding season, in spring and autumn, these amazing breeds hardly shed. The Boxer is an especially clean dog who has very little body odor. In other words, they do not smell of dog, which I always think is a massive positive. Boxers need neither trimming nor brushing or bathing to keep their beautiful, short, tight coats shiny and smooth at all times, you merely need to occasionally wipe them down with a damp washcloth. Grooming the Connie Corso also is very easy and straightforward. Their short and sleek coats require only occasional brushing. As with various other short-coated breeds, bathing them is not necessary unless they've gotten themselves really dirty. And that brings us to the end of our discussion of these two intriguing guardian dog breeds who have many characteristics in common. Starting from their glorious, slightly intimidating looks and reaching all the way to their strong, fearless and yet affectionate and loving character. So with that, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about the Boxer and the Connie Corso, if there's something you prefer about one or something that you're not actually a fan of of the other. We have two dedicated 
box of videos coming here every single week. So make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell. And I can't wait to see you in the next episode on the Fenrir Boxer Show.